In the 93 season, we had a lot of players back and we thought we were gonna be pretty good. I have posters of this, of every team that we did this with. So I lined it up the, taking the boys basketball team up to the Grant County Courthouse. During his sophomore year in, in uh, basketball, he'd become our leader. In our conversations, it felt like he wanted to be a college basketball player. We get to football season and his knees are really bothering him. And he's talking about not playing football. Comes out to football the first couple of days as a student manager. He's over there with me doing wide receiver drills, ball drills, running routes, and acting as a student manager. He can't stand it anymore. And he decides that he's gonna come out for football now. And then obviously from there, the rest is history. I needed a sophomore football coach. So I called Curtis me after lunch on Friday and said, hey coach, I just got offered a full-time job at Roosevelt. I said, do you know anybody else around that maybe would need some, want to do some coaching? He says, well, my roommate, Kalen, is right here. I'll let you call and talk to him. So I talked to Kalen on the phone. He took the job. Today was also a day to pass the torch. Kalen DeBoer was named USF's new head football coach. Every year would he would call, he would call usually between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So when he would call and he would say, Mom, <laughs> and I kind of had an idea, we're moving. <laughs> he got his base from Bob Young. That would have, you know, given him pretty much everything he would have needed. I mean, he's very proud of him. This is what you get, national championship. You guys are the best. The best in the country. His overall record is 103 and 11. Okay, he's 24 and two at Washington. I'm so happy for him. I, every, almost every time he wins a game, which has been quite often, I I text him that night if I saw the game or saw the score and congratulate him and and wish him luck. He always answers me back. He's doing it the right way. It's really special. I never thought that. My uncle would be doing this and getting this big. So fun to follow. We have so many people that come up to us and say, you know, oh, I'm following Kaylin. We get to follow Kaylin. And it is so exciting to hear, I mean, people from Melbank. If, if you're not watching their games on a Saturday night, I'm not sure what they're doing. <laughs> this last time now in, in Vegas, I said, um, I gave him a hug and I said, uh, good luck. I said, I'm nervous. He says, mom, It'll all be good. We're good. And it just kind of calmed me down to feel that when he did that. I just felt, oh, he's feeling good about it. It was an emotional feeling just to be so excited and happy for my brother. People like to talk about it, and trust me, I like talking about him because I think he's just phenomenal. He's been a great ambassador for Millbank. Small town guy, done good, you know. People like those kind of stories, and there's not that many of them. It's not very often from a small community that something this big happens. And so we just wanted him to know, cheering him on and, and you know, the, his community that he grew up in is, you know, still rooting for him. Go Huskies! Good luck, Coach yeah. Once a student, always a student. And to watch how um, um, things progress and, and just to watch a nationwide, you know, Coach of the Year um, come, you know, come from small town South Dakota, it, it is just amazing. Our, our town is small, but our, our dreams are big. It's just because we don't want kids to feel limited. We don't want them to feel stuck. Um, we want them to know that we're trying to set them up um, for their futures and that they can do what, you know, whatever they want when they leave this building. To have an upbringing in a small town like this, it just goes to show that if you put your mind to it, which he has done. It's amazing, it's amazing what can happen when you believe. That you can achieve pretty much anything you want to in life because he's living his dream. Never imagined that this was something that you had in store for us back years ago. I don't know why I'd want to be anywhere else but uh, here at Washington.